now we're going to go see what the inside of the modulator building looks like. Well, here's a close picture of the modulator building right here. Just to show you, here's the radar tower. As we look up and at it and stuff like that. We'll be going up there a little bit too. So here we are. It's now in the modulator building. We'll go ahead and come on around here. Show you all of the stuff that they have here on the, the walls and stuff. And this right here is the modulator. You can see all the little gizmos and gadgets and stuff on it. It's running away doing all of this powerful stuff. It's got some really interesting stuff in it, of course. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cabinet here so you can see the inside of it. Okay, here we are. This is the, the inside of it here. See? All the little tubes and stuff. Radiate on and off, power on and off. All the stuff and all these little gizmos and transformers and capacitors and tons and tons of tubes. And then down in here, I don't know if this will show up on this or not, it's the Plystron tube. And I don't know if this is going to show up or not. Let me stop it all. Okay, in here, if you see that tube behind this grill that's got that weird glow to it, that's the Klystron tube. And inside this thing is a whole bunch of really high voltage stuff that we won't bother looking at it. But that's the Klystron tube in there working away. Klystron tube, just in case you didn't hear me. Okay, this is the back of the radar. Very outdated old stuff. This is a 1957 radar. It was commissioned here in the very early 70s or late 60s. This is what it looks like when it's running. And this up here is what's known as the Digital, digital Video Integrator Processor. We call it the DPIP. You see as the radar is going around, those summary lights right there it should change. Now, not, not very much, but that's just stuff in the ground pattern that it's hitting. Okay, and this right here is a camera controller. Now, this stuff is really interesting. I'm going to show you everything here that's in the light, and then we'll kind of go over it later. This is what's known as the A and R scope, the amp amplitude range scope. This right here is the PPI, the plant position indicator, and this is the RHI scope. We'll go ahead and have a sit down here. And this stuff. Let's see if I can. Um, I am all the way zoomed out. Well, anyway, you can see this stuff is not digital. It just has those old, um, you know, kind of digital stuff. It's not actual LED display or something like that. This is the main power on control right here. On. You can see that little ready light. There's the shows where long pulse right here. This is the magnetron current. I don't know how close this thing's going to let me get on this. I can focus. No, it's not letting me focus. Probably because I, I need to go, in, in order to get that close, we probably have to go into, um, into, um, macro. There we are. There we are. You can see our current. We can do all kinds of neat things like increase the voltage. Where's the button? Run that poor little Maggie current right up there. You can see what happens when she gets a little hot. Ah! Oops, better turn it off. <laughs> Let it come back down. Ah. There we go. Don't tell anyone I did that. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, this is the lights, you know, the main power and stuff like that. And this is the control here, the, the controls here for the, um, for the A&R scope. This here is the A&R scope. I'll uh, it's, it's dark in here, some of the other controls. Alright, these are the controls for the PPI scope. Okay, the direction of the rotation right there. And tune of speed. Right here we have magnitude, speed, expansion, and the ISO echo, the range. We've got a phone, I've got to answer. Okay, we're back here at the radar room. We we're kind of Looking at some of the stuff, off magnitude, sweep expansion, ISO echo, the range, video gain, and all that other garbage. 
This is for stopping the antenna. You press it in to stop. This is the plotter line. You turn that thing on and off, but you'll see that better when I get it dark. This right here is just some of the controls, sensitivity, time control, lin bias, lin and log receivers, IF gain, lin attenuation, AFC, and the, that's called the low tune for tuning it. This right here is the RHI scope. There's some of the controls of probably just the same stuff, you know, dimmer intensity, range mark intensity, and focus and stuff like that. But by the way, here's a close look at the camera. You know, just showing how many frames they have left, how many hours have been running. That garbage. Okay, we're back over here. We have that digital azimuth thing running. It's, the radar's running right now. There's, a, there's the video game control, range, elevation of the antenna. And this right here is the test meter, the test switch. You can turn this right here and see how much power your crystals have right there, like that. And how much voltage we have. It's supposed to go up to that six. There's that one. Let's see, 150 volts. And so there's another 300 volt one right here, right there. It's all running all right, so that's all right. A little air lights and bags and pieces. By the way, over here, this is some of the controls we have for for um, uh, emergency power and stuff. There are just some other stuff. There's an, an actual digital indicator of the antenna right there. Okay. Yeah. Over here, look at some other stuff. This is what's known as gray app, which is a very old uh, computer system. This thing is a main thing right here. The poor thing, that whole disk drive with the six on it only holds five gig of memory. Um, very old. It, 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 it does its job. Look at the hand over. This is a little terminal cord right here. And over here, this is a little printer. This is a little board here for finding out where the severe weather is and stuff. Maybe track it. Over here, this is what's known as the RPPI, the remote plan position indicator. And uh, it's got this is a camera device right here. And it's got a roll of film in it. That's the film in there. Roll of film. It takes 1,850 pictures to roll. It's a lot. You can tilt this up, see the antenna going around in there. Okay, you see those dots? And it just takes a picture of that. Okay, well, I think now we're ready for the night time. Night time? I don't know if we have the light for this at all. We have to find a seat. It's going to be definitely very, very dark. I'm going to go ahead and get the autofocus here. Let's get this all the way off. See if we can see if we can focus on this or not. There we are. I think we're focused. All right, you can see there's the range indicator. There's some very dark in here. Here we are with this. You can see the radar going around. Finding stuff on the radar. All that stuff. This is what it looked like in the old. <laughs> this is 1993, of course, but this thing was commissioned in 1957. It's old. See it going around. See what the DVIP looks like in the, in the dark. You know? All the controls and all that stuff is all lit up. This is what it looks like at night. Or, pardon me, in the dark. You press all these things, select the level up to six, you know, or just one by itself. Camera controller, you know, it's all down dark. The RHI right there, you can see it working away. Okay. Now let's go over here, back again. I'll show you what it's like. So you can do a lot of things here. You can put this on 50 mile or 125 mile range, 50 mile range, or the monster 25 mile an hour range. And you can see that that's what the ground pattern's like. In our scope, this is something you can either use this right here to dial down to whatever's happening in a show to you. See if you get within 31 or 25 miles, 25 miles, you'll see a lot of stuff happening in there. You see little things popping up as it goes through the radials and stuff like that. Or you can also put it on this other selector right here. You can't see it because it's too dark. And it'll show you the whole 250 sweep in one screen or it down, there's 25 miles. That's showing you all the little things that the antenna's running through as the antenna's rotating. 
Okay, so we'll put that back. I like it personally on that. Go ahead and dial this back up to 125. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put this back on 250. You can't see it, but you can hear it at least. So that's what this is like. Now, uh, by the way, so you can see what happens over here. This is the RPPI again. But there's that antenna going around. See what it's like. All, all, it's too dark here to see any of the controls. But it's kind of weird. We just built this place totally by heart. In, in the dark, so you can smell everything. This right here is our screen right here. Oops. Okay, my little keyboard. My little commands and stuff. It says system movement for the past hour has been zero. It's very antiquated stuff. If you were to press A, like for the main menu, see how slowly it comes up. Wait at two main menu. All the stuff that it's got there. It's pretty interesting. It, it it's old, but it works, you know. Let's go over here and get another view of the. IDE. I don't know if this will ever work. Okay, there we are. This is that status thing I was trying to show you earlier. And there's the elevation. There's, pardon me, there's the azimuth going around. There's the date. It's 1802Z. There's the sync status. It just shows, you know, if it says FF05, it's working. And there's the date. February 2nd, no, 2nd on the 5th day. 45 degree elevation. Okay, well that does it for the radar room. Go ahead and turn this back on. It's going to be lining like a door. Okay. Okay, let's well, yeah, set up this. Oh, except that I'm going to show you something very interesting. And that is what these things look like on the inside. Now, let me go ahead and stop. And, well, now I'll go ahead and continue. I'll just go ahead and pull this out. Let's see if it'll stop. Okay, I'm back again here. Okay. Better this is what the PPI scope looks like on the inside. I can pull this out, and you can see all the little stuff in here, you know. See if I can manage to focus on this stuff. Alright, there you are. You see all the tubes and all the gears and all that stuff. Some of the clouds and stuff like that. You see it moving around in there. Nice high voltage in the morning. Tons and tons of tubes in there. Over here, more tubes. You see this? You see this stuff moving around? This this PPI scope is all totally mechanical. It's really weird. It literally moves the sweep around mechanically to be able to get it to work. Well, that's what that looks like on the inside. You can see all the moving holes and switches and stuff. I'll go ahead and stop it now. And we'll go to the next one. Okay, now we're going to do the, the guts of the a and scope. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of tubes all glowing away and stuff like that. Just for fun, we'll turn out the lights. As long as the blue one is it's dark. See all this stuff glowing in there. These holes and stuff. Lots of hot tubes. Go back on. You kind of see everything that's going on in there. This one's not quite as you know, complicated as the PPI scope. You see all those little gizmos. Those little sticks right there are just the controls uh, for these knobs. They have a little bar that runs all the way back to the tension on back there. Okay, so all these little adjustments and all that stuff. Go ahead and pause, and now we'll do the RHI scope. So we're back. And this is the RHI scope. It's got more tubes in it. And this is this really weird little thing, and of course is 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 still doing something. I I don't know why this exactly this turns, but this little wheel right here. Oh yeah, I remember. This little wheel's got this little notch in it. it it's actually this wheel right back here. You probably can't see it at all. Okay, we're probably out of focus, but it's this wheel right here turning. It's got this little notch in it. I can just focus on it. Okay, there we are. We're going to see this little notch come around. When that notch fires, it makes a strobe on the RPPI, which indicates the azimuth, or pardon me, the elevation of the radar. You see all these 
years we were out in Alaska. And there, there's that little notch. There it is. And there, as you can see, yeah, that's the thing that, that runs the uh, the azimuth in here. That's what I'm looking Look over here again. You know, some directions, I guess, that parts of another. There's all kinds of little panels of wires and things like that. Some of the other little stuff back in there. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Let's see what this looks like. In the dark. I don't know if I, if I have this in focus at all. Hopefully. Anyway, you can see the little tubes and stuff back in there. It's, it's really too dark to be running this, but you can see everything is in here. And there's another another shot of the RPPI going for the car the PPI. By the way, that red light that just came on right there indicates that the uh, computer is in control. Interesting. Okay, we'll stop now and I'll put it back together. By the way, I don't... Yeah, I'm not so, Okay, back here. We're back here. I'm now behind the computer. See all the guts for the RPPI. This is the RPPI that we were looking at earlier. Okay, so you can see that. Well, the guts down there. This is the back of the like this uh, radar two computer. You can see what it looks like on the inside. Now, this is of course rather much outdated. I don't know if this has a date on it or anything. I'm sure you don't see it. But this stuff is kind of old. Anyway, let's see what it looks like. I can hear this thing rattling and I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, well I kind of made a tour of the area. Let's look 